Welcome programmers! Last week Microsoft released a new version of their VS Code extension for Arduino. We're going to look at the, uh, the update and I have two tips for you guys if you're doing programming with the uh, VS Code extension. So Microsoft released on March 15 version 0 0.6 of the Arduino extension and they fixed several bugs and if we go look at the change log on the uh, Microsoft repository, uh, the first thing that is uh, notable is um, since version 0 0.5, they now bundle the Arduino CLI with the uh, Arduino extension of VS Code. So you don't have to specify a path to the Arduino uh, executable on your computer. So the CLI is, is now bundled with the extension. And they now kind of keeping it synchronized with the uh, version of the Arduino CLI. So in that version 0 0.6, they have updated the bundled version of the Arduino CLI to the latest version, with the, which is uh, 0 0.31. So it's, it's the first thing that is notable. The, so the second thing that is uh, notable in that updated version is they kind of corrected a bug uh, with the board manager and the library manager which were not refreshing when you added a library on a new board in the, in your project so it's now fixed. So that's a very minor update version 0 0.6 of the Arduino extension. And now for the first tip. Um, if we look at the documentation of the extension there's you can see here there's a under the known limitations, they're saying that other files to include in a sketch have to be in a subdirectory, otherwise the compile step will fail. And it's no longer the case actually. Uh, I don't know if it's related to the fact that they now bundle the extension with the Arduino CLI. I'm not sure, but here is um, a little project, a little test project that I've made to demonstrate that it's working just fine. So here I have a test.ino sketch which is including a header file which is called display prototyping and this header file like you see here it's at the same level of the sketch so at the same root level of the sketch and if I try to compile it you're going to see that it's compiling perfectly everything is working fine so now it's no longer an issue having a header file at the same uh, at the same root uh, level of the sketch. You 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 don't have to put it in the subdirectory. So it's a it's a nice correction. Now for the second tip, if you look here at the build output, we don't see any more reported uh, the amount of memory consumed by the uh, the sketch. So we don't have any information on dynamic memory consumption or static memory consumption and and that information is is vital right because for example if you if you're using a nano or a uno which ha which only has uh, two kilobyte of static ram it's important that the the compile report the amount of memory consumed by the sketch and it's no longer reporting the amount of memory since version 0 0.5 of the uh, Arduino extension for uh, VS Code. But there's a nice workaround. So what we need to do is to go into the Arduino settings. So you go into the settings, you search for Arduino. And in the settings, if you go down, you're going to see the Arduino log level. And by default, it it's at the info level so basically that's mean that you're getting this basic information with no memory consumption coming from the compiler so what you have to do is change the log level to verbose and if I go back to my sketch and I compile it again we're going to see a bunch of information coming from the compiler a lot of information that we don't need but if we go at the bottom of the output we're going to see here that we get the information on the memory consumption of the sketch and here it's in French I don't know why it's in French but hopefully on your site it will be in English. 0.6 is a minor update from Microsoft 
and I have a video on version 0 0.5 on the extension of the Alune extension and actually that version brings new features to uh, to us developers so go look at it I have put the link in the video description and thanks for watching guys it's time to code